All right, um, so next up is talking a little bit about navigating through Legal Server. So I'm going to scroll right back up to the top here. The first thing to mention is our top, what we call our user stripe. So right up here at the top, um, of course, if you were in your site, you would see your site name over here on the left where we're seeing Legal Server demo. And then to the right of that, you'll see a couple of different buttons up at the top here. Um, whether you see note drafts and messages up here at the top, again, depends on the configuration of your site, as well as if you actually have any pending note drafts out there or any messages. Um, the note draft, what that will do is if I start typing a case note in Legal Server and um, I leave that case note, or sorry, I'm on the page for five seconds or more, and then I navigate away from that page without actually saving my note, Legal Server is going to save a draft for me. So that's what we've got up at the top here, any drafts that I have. You may also have the message center turned on. Um, if your site administrator has decided to do that, you'll see any messages that you have at the top here. Um, this is essentially just an internal messaging between users. Next, you'll see your name. So I am logged in as Legal Server staff, but this would be your name at the top when you're logged in. And you'll see a couple of different links under that button here. The first one will bring you to your user profile. So I can actually see my own profile. I can see things like what my phone numbers are in here, what my email address is tagged to, all of those things. I can also jump right to my contact information or my extra information. Again, all of that is related to my user profile. And then the last link here to point out is the system preferences. This is going to bring you to a page where you can set preferences for just your user profile. So this is where you get to decide on things that only affect you when you're logged in. And every user will have these options here. You've got some options related to your calendar. If you are someone who does intake and you have the intake type uh, field on your intake process, you can set a default for that. So um, as an example of this, if I were someone who does intake and 95% of the intakes that I do are on the telephone, I can set this default. And whenever I do an intake, that field will automatically default to this value. Another one to point out here is the interface font size. If you find that the font size is too small um, or alternately too large, you can affect uh, the actual size here. I always suggest um, editing the number of search results for these two fields here um, to make them a little bit higher than the default. So by default, I believe they're at the lowest numbers. So you can come in here and bump those up a little bit. And what that will do is give you more search results um, right at the beginning. So if I search for something, I'll get 10 results or 20 in the list rather than you know, three or five. And that way I just have to click through less pages of results there. Uh, if you are someone who works remotely in a different time zone than your site is set for, you can set that here as well. And then lastly, um, we've got some timekeeping settings. And then at the bottom here is where you can set um, the defaults that you want to view cases and your home page in. So this is only relevant if your site administrators have set up more than one home page and or case profile. Um, but this is where you can say that, for instance, if I work on the foreclosure program, um, I only work on foreclosure cases. So every time that I open a case, I want to see it with the foreclosure profile that my uh, administrator has built. I can select that as my default profile. And then if I go click on a case from the case list, I would see it using that profile versus the generic main profile. Same thing with the home page. Again, if you've got um, different home pages set up for different types of users, um, supervisors, you know, versus general users, things like that, that is also where you can set that default. So 
Now, if we made any changes, we would, of course, click Continue to have those changes made. And then the last thing to mention about this top stripe is that we also have our logout button. So there is an automatic logout in Legal Server between one and three hours. Again, just depending on what your site administrator has decided on. Um, but if you are on a public computer at the library or something like that, and you want to log out uh, right away, you can, of course, click your logout button, and you'll be logged out of your Legal Server site. 